Vittoria, buongiorno. Buongiorno Paola. Are you ready? Concentrated? Because yes. today it's serious. I yeah. know. I know. We are going to visit Musei Civici of San Gimignano. I'm super ready. Let's go. Podere la Maronaia, a family story behind a bottle. Palazzo San Gimignano is not just gelato, Vernaccia and saffron, there is a lot to see. And can you remind me the name of this beautiful room we are in? We are in the council hall of the Palazzo del Podestà, mm -hmm. the municipal palace practically, and um, has a nickname because uh, it's dedicated to Dante, Sala di Dante at the same time, because uh, he, from Florence, as an ambassador of the city of Florence, uh, came and visited San Gimignano. And at this point, I would like to introduce you the two portraits of Dante, uh, one in bronze, one in marble. We recognize him from his eagle nose. And um, we are 1,300, that's exactly when he came. And this is exactly, more or less, the time that everything was beautifully decorated. And uh, the highlight of the room is certainly the maestà. This is the majesty. Every time that you see a Madonna sitting down on a throne like this, holding the baby, and usually surrounded by different saints, and we for man be painted at the beginning of the 1300 using a lot of gold like in Siena here we are in the province in Siena uh, in a very elegant way they used to represent uh, uh, all the different saints that people used to recognize them without reading their name but just looking at them St. Peter's, we recognize from the key that he's holding, and uh, he's uh, older than the other one, usually with the white hair. St. John the Baptist with the lion's key in. Mm -hmm. We have uh, the patron family, we have uh, Nello from the Tolomei family that uh, commissioned the fresco to Lippo Mammi, and he's the only one without the halo that we recognize. St. Agnese, we have it next. And uh, the main character is him, is uh, San Gimignano. It's Gimignano with, uh, with the bishop hat, as he was a bishop uh, in his real life. And um, we have uh, so many people surrounding the Virgin Mary with this beautiful blue mantle gilded, uh, with this pillow, this beautiful color, which they vanished a little bit, but they still have uh, this uh, beauty. Uh, of um, the blue lapis lazuli that you have in the background. Yes. Uh, and uh, you can tell that she was protected by this tent, which is a beautiful fabric made of uh, everything with loom machine at that time, because everything was made by hand, of course. And uh, I'd like to remind you know, how I do have the name of, of, the, of the patron family here, Nello, and his father was Nino de Tolomei, and uh, he was, uh, for a limited time, the Podesta of San Gimignano, he was the mayor of uh, the village. And um, look around you because you have the original ceiling, the wood cafe ceiling that you have, different family coat of armor that you have painted on top, and uh, moment of everyday life. Uh, hunting moment, uh, moment of uh, fishing, uh, and uh, in the countryside with their dogs uh, that you have. Uh, and um, this was uh, a beautiful moment uh, being described uh, visiting uh, at that time the, the room. Okay, let's go on because there are a lot of different rooms to see. All of the secret audience. Uh, 
uh, that you have but where the, um, the judge uh, stood there and um, uh, listened to the people and um, there is a coat of arm that I would like your attention to because um, um, I'm Florentina, so I'm very familiar with uh, This is a family that, from Florence, uh, they piano piano slowly conquered all Tuscany, so they conquered San Gimignano too. So you have their family coat of armor there, and uh, you have it from uh, the um, 16th century, this is, was not painted before, of course, and I'm talking about the Medici family, and this is the six rounded balls of the family that you have there. Every time that you have that coat of armor is not something that the locals were very proud of because they've lost their independency, meaning the Medici were dominating the whole area.